Welcome back to Astrology Beans. Today's video is going to feature the fire signs for the month of December. I'm going to do Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And because we are in the sign of Sagittarius, I'm going to do an extended birthday reading and a separate video for you Sagittarius. So for this video, I'm going to start with Aries and work through the sign Leo and then Sagittarius pull just a few cards and then I'm going to pull a self-care card. So let's begin with Aries and this is for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So if this reading resonates with you, take what you need, leave the rest. If this does not resonate with you, check out your other signs. Check out your if you are an Aries Sun check out your moon rising or Venus and see if those readings resonate with you better so with the death card upright you've gone through some endings um, some cycles have ended, um, get ready for some new beginnings, some change. I know with the solar eclipse coming in in December on the 14th in Sagittarius, there's going to bring about a lot of change with that, ending cycles. Just prepare yourself for some bigger and better things. With the Four of Swords upright, you just need to rest right now. It seems like you've been going through it and you just need to rest for whatever chaos and drama that you've been dealing with. And now is the time to take care of yourself. Two of Cups reversed. You and someone else had personal or business. You guys are just experiencing some growing pains. Um, possible separation. You just need to take some time to yourself. If it's love, maybe you're too codependent on the other person. Seven of Cups reversed. Your lack of clarity, you just, you just don't know what to do right now. Don't be fooled by the smoke and mirrors. If something looks too good to be true, it most likely is. So don't get frustrated. Just remind yourself that bigger and better things are coming your way. Way, especially with the eclipse coming. We have the great conjunction with Jupiter and Saturn in Aquarius. So we're all going to, like this is a planetary thing too, like we're all going to experience some sort of change. And it's not just going to be like this overnight thing. So we're not going to wake up on like the 21st of, or the 22nd of December and just see all this change everywhere. Like it's going to be a gradual thing, but just be open to it. Get rid of what is no longer serving you, what's no longer benefiting you. Clean out your closets, clean out, just clean out the junk and welcome and bring in the new, the better, the improved. So Aries, let's see what we can do for some self-care other than rest. Like I know after you've dealt with a lot of drama like it really does take a lot out of your body like you're exhausted physically mentally exhausted so make sure you're getting your eight hours of rest at night if you have to nap i don't know why people are so against napping i guess because you're not working so you shouldn't be napping during the day but i am all for naps if you are tired take a nap there's nothing wrong with napping. It's your body's way of saying, I'm tired, I need to rest. And some days we need more sleep than others. Drink your water. Water is so good for you. It makes you feel so good. Like some people are like, water's gross. Add some lemon, add some strawberries, add some fruit to it. Something natural, at, you know, helps with the flavor. Eat your fruits and vegetables. Like just take care of yourself this month, Aries, because it sounds like you've been going through it. Or if you haven't yet, you will be. So just kind of maybe prepare now, get your rest now. Connect with the earth. 
I love this card. I really do. And I love it because I love connecting with the earth. I One of my favorite, favorite places in the entire world is going back home to California and just walking through the redwood trees and the redwood forests. And one of my favorite forests, unfortunately, burned up in... Um, the fires this year but the redwood trees survived so if that tells you anything about the strength and endurance of redwood trees and their energy it's just oh it's so amazing so connect with the earth go outside barefoot touch the earth with your feet stand in the grass sit in the grass lay in the grass I don't know just connect with the earth like you don't have to go all the way to a forest to connect with the earth you can even do that in your own backyard. Get outside, just feel the earth's energy, feel what the earth is giving you. Like she is here to provide for you. She is here to heal you, make you feel better. And she really does a good job on taking care of you. So just kind of connect with the earth. Go outside and just kind of look around you. So. Say you live in a major city, you can still connect with the earth there. Um, go for a walk, um, go to a park. I know every city has to have some sort of park. Um, go to the park, just kind of take your shoes off, touch the grass, feel the breeze, feel the sunlight, like focus on those and just kind of connect and see what the earth is telling you. and. Just listen to her. She's a wise lady and we really do take her for granted. So connect with her, see what she has to say. She may tell you to go take a nap. I don't know. So just take care of yourself this month, Aries. Thanks for listening. Okay, Leo, you are up. And this is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So remember, this reading resonates with you. Take what you need, leave the rest. If this doesn't, check your other planets. So if you're a Leo Sun watching this video and it doesn't really resonate with you, check the, the other videos for your other planets, for your moon rising and Venus. Judgment upright, we've got a lot of reflection, awakening, just evaluating yourself and your actions. And that could be from eclipses that's coming up. We have the lunar eclipse on the 30th of November in Gemini, and then we have the solar eclipse in Sagittarius on December 14th. And with the solar eclipse, it's gonna bring a lot of reflection, um, purging, what's no longer needed, just kind of, you know, evaluating what's bringing things, what's good for you, pretty much, what's serving you. It's going to highlight that. So with the Page of Wands upright, you are full of fresh ideas, but you need that foundation to execute those ideas. And with the Death reversed you're putting something off that needs to be done so free yourself and embrace that change so again like i mentioned with the eclipse coming up free yourself of this change because there's the great conjunction happening jupiter saturn in aquarius on december 21st that's going to bring about like wonderful change for globally, personally. So you want to make room for that. Don't be bogged down. Don't hold on to things that's no longer serving you because it's not going to help you. Um, that also may free up that foundation um, for you to execute those ideas that you're just kind of sitting on right now. With the Ace of Pentacles, you might be presented with an offer that sounds too good to be true. Just don't take it. Um, don't make any rush decisions. Um, 
if you don't free yourself from this death card of whatever you're holding on to, you're going to miss an opportunity. So just kind of keep that in mind that you need to clean out the negativity. You need to clean out the junk. So otherwise you're just going to miss out on a lot. And like I said, you're holding on to, you've got a lot of good ideas, but you're not allowing the foundation and the groundwork to be established. So let go of that because it doesn't sound like it's serving you anything. So let's see, some self-care for Leo. Be still. As a Leo, I feel like, I mean, a fire sign in general, you're just very high energy. And now is the time just to kind of be still, be quiet, be with your thoughts. And this also goes with the um, judgment card of reflection, awakening, evaluation. Wait, so be still, think, process, evaluate. Now is the time to process sitting, laying, just stopping for a second. Like you can stop and smell the roses. It's okay to take a break. Just process those feelings, process those thoughts, lay everything out there, get rid of what's no longer serving, welcome, make room for those changes, and just kind of be with yourself at this time in December. So thanks for watching, Leo. All right, Sagittarius, you are up. And I just wanna say happy birthday to all the Sagittariuses out there. I am going to do an extended video reading for you for your birthday month that will be in a separate video. So for this one, I'm just gonna pull a few cards for December, see what it says, pull a self-care card, and let's begin. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this reading resonates, take what you need, leave the rest. If this doesn't resonate with you, check out your other signs. So Sagittarius, Sun, if you're watching this, Check out what your moon, rising, and Venus is. All right. And I know that there is a solar eclipse happening in Sagittarius on December 14th, which I'll talk about briefly in your extended birthday video and how it will be affecting you. Full reversed, I'm just gonna be blunt. Stop being reckless, careless, foolish, gullible. Just stop it, like, it's not helping you. With the Page of Cups reverse, like you're not handling your emotions well at all. And that could be why you're being reckless and careless right now. It's time to, for you to find out a new outlet for your emotions because what you're doing right now isn't working. It's not helping you. It's not helping other people. You're just kind of acting like a child. Four of Cups upright, you've got a decision that needs to be made. So it's best to get your emotions and careless behavior in check. Like listen to your intuition. You know, that's why you need to check your emotions is because you need to be quiet to listen to your intuition. If your intuition says no, I would go against it. Um, the seven of wands upright, this kind of ties in with the full card reverse because you are going to have to fight 
to maintain something important to you. So if you are acting like a fool, if you're acting like a child, you're not going to be able to do this. You're not going to be able to fight and do what you need to do to hold your ground. If there's a setback, keep fighting. I, I just get the feeling that it's kind of like you're, you're letting your ego take over and you're just being really childish about something and that's not going to help you, especially with this eclipse coming up. So, like I said, I'll talk more about the eclipse in your extended birthday video, but right now, just kind of grow up. So, let's see. What self-care do we have for Sagittarius? Sound healing. Okay. So Sagittarius, put on your favorite playlist. Listen to nature. Listen to, I don't know, download an app that has like the sound of the beach or some calming noises, some um, of those like healing bowls. Listen to, you know, the spa music. Um, any type of sound that's healing to you would help you greatly right now. So like I said, listen to music that brings you up, that's upbeat. Um, if you maybe kind of like if you're angry right now, get it out. Listen to some like angry music. I don't know. Find some music that fits your mood and just listen to it. Work through it. Um, like I said, stop being childish because you are going to have to get a handle on your emotions right now. I know it's hard when you're emotional, upset, you just kind of lash out. Like that's what we do when we're emotionally hurt and upset is that we lash out like a cat that's angry. Like we swat our little paw, like we're like, no, get away. We can't do that. Um, just work on your emotions right now because you are going to have to decide a few things. Like you've got some major changes coming up, especially with this eclipse. So get a handle on your emotions, listen to some music, listen to some healing sounds, calm your emotional upsets, get them in order, get them in line and balance yourself. So I will go into more into this um, with the other video, but thanks for listening, Sagittarius.